So you were named CEO in September 2008, and you call it the month that the world fell apart. How was it leading DuPont through the past two years? Well, you know, I tell you, uh, for all the reasons that I thought it was terrible to have that timing, it turned out to be pretty good. Really? Yeah. I think that, um, you know, when the world is basically in free fall. There is nothing an organization won't do if you take it to them logically. So, you know, all we could do is focus on what we could control. So what can we control? We can control our costs, you know, our productivity. We could control generating cash, our inventories, accounts receivable, our capital deployment. We could control how we interact with our customers, keeping R&D going, new product introductions, staying engaged with our customers. So it was really helpful to focus the organization down on the couple of things that we could control to be able to, to come out of the recovery stronger than we went into it. And so, you know, it really was just an absolute coming together of the entire company around some very simple concepts that was an enabler for us to really recover very well. What did you learn most during that period that you could do uh, as much or more with less? I think that we learned that over time we'd become very complicated. We had incrementalized our organizational constructs to be very complicated and, and for the most part around products. And so by putting like products to markets together, by organizing around the regions and so having a strong regional leader who's deploying resources to where the growth is were two really important things that I think helped us as we reorganized, simplify, and really focus on the opportunity in the marketplace. Because at the end of the day, we could not lose sight on the customer or on the markets that were, you know, in a very uncertain state. You've spent a lot of time in China, and I'm interested to know what you learned from China, what the U.S. can learn from China, and what China you think can learn from the U.S. You know, I think what we learned from China is that we just couldn't e export um, technology from the U.S. and think it was going to work there. We had to localize it. We had to put up research and development laboratories. We have 70 around the world. Um, you know, our one in Shanghai, we've doubled the size on in the last few years. And localizing that research and development. Now, we leverage it around the world. We have very clear networks around the world. But we had to have local application developers working with the local companies in order to be relevant to them. You couldn't do it from a long distance. We really had to. Maybe you could have a decade ago or two decades ago, but no more.